guys, uh, welcome to the channel. Today we're taking part in the Singapore Grand Prix on the F1 2020 My Team. Fortunately, I've had some recording issues, so practice uh, hasn't recorded. So we're just going to jump straight into the qualifying session and then into the race itself. Uh, qualifying was a bit mixed. Uh, I didn't uh, put my best performance, I would argue. So uh, I'm hoping uh, come qualifying now, I'm going to still get pole. I would I was do I was getting good enough times to get pole in practice, but still not like dominating like I have been at times. Go to track. Oh, it's a wet race. Bit nervous with it being wet. Got Hamilton up my ass. Being careful as well not to spin the bloody car out or else stupid like that. Make the race interesting. We've had a wet race in quite a while. Oh, trying to turn too early there. Could have been worse, but still. Hamilton's still behind. Locked up, then. Can get around that corner, no matter how hard I tried. That's going to be an interesting race, then. Fantastic drive. Right. What kind of lap times was that way? And with qualifying complete, let's review our top three quicker. today. Price, Hamilton, and Nick Max Schumacher getting 20th. It's open a little bit better than 20th, but we'll take it. Now the race itself, we just need to concentrate because um, we're starting in pole position, so unless we make any stupid Wait, mistakes, Marco, we should be fine. Let's have your thoughts. Okay, here we go. Looks like you had a great qualifying session. It must be a relief being that far up the grid. Let's pull that. How does a car perform in these conditions? Is it an advantage or a disadvantage? Was today a good day for you? I'll pull that. What was the secret ingredient for your performance today? I'll just pull that. Appreciate your time. Right, let's get into this race. Let's try and pull up a good performance and uh, get the result we want. Oh, bloody hell. Don't forget as well, guys, if you haven't already done so, please do hit the like button on this uh, video. It tells you guys are enjoying it and it also helps more people find the uh, content. As I said on the failed recording, we've been doing so pretty well in F1 2020, my team. Uh, not many races left now to complete, so we'll see how uh, things go. Right. So yeah, we just need to now jump into the race, keep our focus, don't make any stupid mistakes, and we should win. Because we was about three, four seconds quicker than Hamilton on qualifying, so yeah, that that's, that should be good enough. Just not make any stupid mistakes. Okay, it's a 15 lap race, not a problem. We can we can do this. Just 
like I said, to keep the focus, don't make daft mistakes, no bold driving, no Steve Woods approved driving today. And we should be fine. Before we begin, let's there we go. Okay, we're on the wet. I think I've got a bit of wheel spin then off the line, not what he wants. It's wetter now, but it was in qualifying. Look at hell. Oh, I nearly spun out when I felt my back end go. So we're starting to make a bit of a gap. She's alright. Just keep our focus. Oh. Alright, we're looking good so far. I'm so bloody nervous. You can probably tell in my driving. So I don't want to turn too hard, I don't want to brake too hard. Don't want to do anything that could crash the car. It's going to be a slow and steady race, I think. Burly cramped as racing and the tracks that would be wet. I wonder if it'd been raining for the entire race. So it's going to take a while to do 15 laps in this. Two uh, minutes and eight seconds. I think we're about 20 to 30 seconds slower in the rain. So I'm just thinking about what I was doing in practice which you guys unfortunately have not seen. Recording problems at the best? Not. I think I was doing about 1 minute 44 in qualify or practice solid. Sorry if I'm quiet guys, but I'm extremely bloody nervous. Although we are putting a good performance now, I know one mistake would um, well, ruin it. Heavy rain, this I reckon it's in for the entire race. Okay, new fastest lap, two minutes and five seconds. That was actually a lot quicker than that last lap. More than eight seconds ahead of Hamilton.
Yeah, pretty confident now, uh, as long as we don't make any bold driving, we'll be uh, perfect. Just getting used to the different conditions, really. I think I'm making a bigger gap between myself and the other racers uh, in the wet than I would do in the dry, which is interesting. barrier. Well that's going to cost me some time. That could have been a hell of a lot worse though, so I should count myself lucky. Cocky driving. The tyre situation is an interesting one, but I think the right call is to stick with what we've got right now. Okay. I'll take his advice. I'm staying out. I think that uh, catching the uh, the caller has costed me around three seconds. Yep, we just need to keep doing what we're doing, really. More than 10 seconds ahead of Hamilton. Behind by around a second as long as I don't hit that bloody barrier again or anything else stupid, it'll be more than a second per lap I'll make on Hamilton this time now. Late in the break slap corner, but we're out just about. Good time. I'll ring him back once I'm done. Doubt it'll be important. Bad lap from us though. More than 13 seconds ahead of Hamilton now. If I um, want to come out ahead of him after the pit stops, whenever that might be, I um, certainly need to open a bit more of a gap. But um, not a big uh, priority right now. Literally, it's not crash. So far, we haven't crashed. Well, we have actually. We caught the barrier before, but. Except for that, we're still in the race, which is the main thing. Very slightly quicker for first sector, although I have cooked it on that corner. So that would ruin anything I did make into sector one when it comes to a sector two time. Not hit the barrier this time. That's 
better. Needless to say, I'm not going to be lapping anyone this race. The uh, aim is to stay in the race without crashing. Other teams are fitting intermediate tyres and might be worth considering changing yours too. If you want to bring me in, I'll come in. It's up to you. If not, I'm happy to stay out. I'm having no problems on the wets. And the people in the top five are all on wets. I've just set a new fastest lap, so it can't be that bad. More than 17 seconds now ahead of Hamilton. Despite the fact I'm being a bit careful, I'm still getting away. Happy at my performance, actually. So yeah, I don't really feel the need for a, a, a tyre change, but... Oh, hey up. Well, everyone behind's gone in. Stacking and everything, bloody hell. I'm that shocked, I'm nearly crashing in shock. Double stacking. Some have stayed out though, Magnuson and Sainz. We're still doing good lap times in the um, in the works. We're struggling now a little bit, but it's not that bloody bad. See, like I say, if he tells me to come in, I'll come in. Oh, okay, that's a slide and a half. Okay, maybe we are slowly starting to struggle. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. Not going to bother checking MFD. See if they tell me to box, I'll box. Till which time I'm staying out. Yeah, I know that was a good lap. I'm happy at that lap time. Signs is currently in second and we're 35 seconds ahead of him. Looks like it's probably about time we change tyres. It's a bit of a crossover period for sure, but the longer we stay out, the worse it's going to get. Well, I've just put in a good lap time. strategy is available on the MFD. I'm staying out unless he actually tells me to come in. I'm staying out. I know, uh, well yeah, the last of the wets are coming in by the looks of it. But I just do not feel like I need... Mick's gone in as well. Mick is in the pits. Mick in the pits. I thought he'd all be pitted, clearly not. But yeah, I'm just not really feeling any issues with these tyres yet. In fact, we just set a good sector two time. Oh, okay. I am struggling on that one corner though. On that one, I like break out. I'm just 
set a new fastest lap and they're saying I'm off the wrong tyres. Like, clearly I'm not. Pierre Gasly is out. I wonder what has happened to him. Anyway, more than 49 seconds ahead of Hamilton. Good to cushion there. Fucking hell. That was a slide and half. Maybe I might need intermediates now. It's not shouting me in though, so it can't be that bad. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. No, I think I'm gonna stay how I am for now actually. And I'll just have a slide in that, but if it was that bad you'd be screaming at me to get in. flag. Oh yeah, there he is. Out of the session. I would say he's out of the way though, but I can understand that yellow flag. Bloody hell, that's allowed um, a car or whatever it is that's just gone up the street. So bad. Clearing up is about 10 minutes, so just keep your concentration out there. Okay, rain. Oh, I've cut that corner. I'm surprised I didn't get told telling off for that. Okay, another decent lap. Um, 49 seconds out of Hamilton still. I think we stayed roughly the same distance from each other that entire lap. See how things go. But on lap 9 of 15, so we haven't got too much further to go, really. That was a good first sector. A new strategy on the MFD. So I'm just gonna keep fighting, keep fighting it for now until um, I really feel things are bad. But I'm staying around the same distance from Hamilton. I'm not crashing, and I'm still putting in good lap times. So I just do not feel the need to change at this moment in time, at least not desperately. from the engine is going to be down slightly it's showing some minor wear I'll have to have a look at my engine then after this race sounds like it's seen better days slightly slower second sector I thought was going into that wall I really did Took that car and tried to try had I tried. Okay, that's another lap, another fastest lap, and we've slightly got a further gap between like me and Hamilton. Staying out when lap 10 of 15 guys I'm doing what I need to do to stay ahead I wonder if I'll end up staying on these tyres then if I don't actually choose to pit Yeah, at the moment, I do not feel the need to pit. This things, if anything starts to show like it's had it, then I will. But 
I'll go for now. I wonder where Mick Schumacher is. Probably last. Or maybe not. We have five laps of fuel remaining. Oh, luckily for us, that's not a big, big issue. Because we've got just less than five laps of the race. You're increasing the gap on the car behind by five tenths per lap. That's perfect. Very slightly. Tire condition is still looking good. Well, that's perfect, then. Get another fastest lap, guys. Uh, 51 seconds out of Hamilton, so we are still slowly but surely getting away, which is what I'm happy about. I'll only pit if I really have to, and I don't think I need to really. an eye on things, but for now, I'm pretty confident and it's well settled, really. First sector. Wide on that corner, if I'm honest, not the best. Ooh. That was too bloody close. Reconsidering uh, staying out on uh, the wets now. Okay, I reckon we could probably get away with intermediate tyres now. You're going to find it harder and harder to keep the wets cool from here, but the inter should be easier. Yeah, I think it's time. Oh shit. I totally missed my braking zone then. Can't remember how to tell the thing to pit. Didn't catch that. Say again. Box this lap. Box this lap. this lap then, come into the pits at the end of this lap. So I'm just going slow now. And Hamilton's starting to catch up, so this pit stop will let him catch up by, There's four laps of by a fair running. bit, but I certainly should be able to escape on fresh tyres on the last couple of laps. I think that's the first time I've ever actually asked it to pit me. But we're at that point now where it needs to happen, I think. We made this last for quite a while though, I'm happy at that.
kind of lap times and get out the inters on the final couple of laps, eh? So that's what it should put me on. I'll be bloody fuming if I come out in anything else. Like I said, this will allow the field to catch up by, uh, well, we're pretty, not much further behind. Go, go, go. But uh, now we've got fresh. Look after Why? These tires now. We want to finish the race on this compound. It's put me on wet. I am not impressed. I am going to struggle for the last couple of laps. It's put me on fucking wet. Jesus Christ, I'm a bastard bike, eh? At least these are fresh wets though, so that should help, but it's not the buddy point. Looks like the weather is gonna dry up in about five minutes. Luckily the race will be done before I'll have to consider any more tire changes. I'm definitely finding it easier to drive in these new wets, but I think I'd have been faster in the intermediates now. Oh, I've shot that corner off. Bloody hell. We've only got two laps of fuel left. Be very conservative with the fuel. Oh! That's because I was too busy looking at the fuel uh, usage. Oh, now I'm really, I'm just making stupid errors. Probably costed me a couple of seconds. Yeah, it looks like it costed me about three seconds. For fuck's sake. Playing fat people. Right, let's see what we can get another fastest lap. Swing fresh wet. Granted, I'll be slipping and sliding a little bit, but still fresh wet. Oh. That will affect the time round on the first sector then. Alright. That's a faster first sector. Seconds. I think when I'm not crashing, I am actually getting away on these new wets. So it should actually be enough to get me to the end of the race now. I've got a bit quick around that corner. But yeah, it's where it is. Just keep our heads down now.
Okay, another fastest lap. Good Two job. minutes three. That was the fastest lap of the race so far. So, yep, that's perfect. So yeah, we don't need to worry about. Only one lap of fuel remaining. Let's go to our final lap. So yeah, we don't need to be worried about uh, being caught up by Hamilton or anyone else. Doing enough to keep away. Could even set the fastest lap on our final lap at this rate. Oh, that's probably cost a bit though, but it's nice to be ambitious. Good on that corner then guys. Good flag time. Bloody hell, what a race that's been. That was the fastest lap as well. Bloody hell, what a race. Fantastic drive, and it means you're driver's world champion. What a result. Oh, well, Enjoy that's it. perfect. Looks like my webcam's just frozen. I'm hoping that's all that's happened and not the recording that, stuff. Another year of Formula One draws to a close. And a new World Drivers' Champion is declared. Another entry added to that prestigious list of the sport's most incredible drivers. Not just victory today then, but the championship as well. Not even sure if this is still recording actually, it's just frozen. Well, my uh, face has in the top right corner. Hopefully it's still recording though. Whew, what a bloody race. Singapore complete. No, it's bloody dry now, it's fucking picture, isn't it? Now, let's discuss, Ants. Who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? Let's move on to the constructors. Okay. An interview or not? First yeah. of all, congratulations. You must be thrilled. How does it feel to be this year's Formula One champion? I'll just put that. You're breaking all expectations. What's your secret? You left a lot of paint on the walls today. Were you struggling for grip or did you just miss... I'll just put that to show up. Appreciate your time. All right, well, that's the Singapore Grand Prix completed and we're now the uh, champion. But we still have a few more races to do, which will be uploaded over the next few weeks. So if you guys have enjoyed this and you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe with notifications turned on. That way we're not finding any future videos and live streams. But until the next one, I'll see you later. Nice one, guys.